Bismillahir and uh, welcome back to this next video and this is the first video uh, in the series of videos on the microbiology and this is an introduction to the microbiology uh, before going into the uh, details of the microbiology there are some general terms that you need to understand uh, the first term that is known as biology and this is actually made up of two terms uh, the bios mean life and the logos mean to study so the study of the living organisms is called as biology we use the term a microscopic uh, if you look at this term again this microscopic is made up of two terms this micros means small and the scoping mean to see so something that is too small to see they are known as the uh, microscopic uh, the microorganisms and the microbes uh, they are actually the uh, micros means small and bios mean life so small living organisms uh, they are actually known as the uh, microorganism especially those organisms which you are not able to see with uh, naked eye then we use the term macroscopic this macroscopic is in contrast to the term microscopic and this macro mean large and the scoping mean to see so something that is uh, uh, visible to the naked eye now when we talk about the microbiology so microbiology is a specialized area of biology that deals with living things they are too small to be seen without magnifications of course there are exceptions i'll tell you about some of the exception but generally microbiology is dealing with those living organisms uh, which are too small to be seen without magnification now the subject of the bi microbiology uh, it started in 1675 by the uh, discovery of the microscope by Leeuwenhoek uh, in which he was able to uh, you can say uh, see the uh, microorganisms uh, this is actually the uh, the small the uh, simple uh, microscope that was developed by the uh, by Anton and with the help of this uh, microscope he was able to uh, discover the uh, microorganisms now the microscopic organisms they are collectively referred to as the microorganisms sometimes they are also known as the microbes or seven other terms that are used depending upon the uh, purpose now microbiology it this is one of the largest and the most complex of the biological sciences uh, because it deals with uh, many diverse biological disciplines uh, for example, uh, like in addition to studying the uh, natural history of the microbes or the microorganisms, the field of microbiology it also deals with every aspect of the microbe-human interactions and it also focuses on the microbe-environment interactions. So it's not only studying about the microorganism itself, it is studying every aspect of the human-microbe interactions and the microbe-environment interactions. Now, some of the major fields that are contributing to the uh, field of the microbiology, or you can say uh, some of the subfields that you see under the uh, subject of the microbiology that include the genetics, the uh, metabolism, uh, the infection and diseases, the drug therapy and immunology, and the genetic engineering, the industry, uh, and the agriculture and the ecology now that means that the microbiology is a very complex biological science because it deals with a very diverse kind of the uh, sciences that are out there when we talk about the uh, applications of the microbiology in uh, industry and medicines so now i'm focusing on the some of the major applications of the microbiology and the first application that I want to focus on is the uh, field of the um, uh, immunology uh, because the uh, prominent, uh, there are certain prominent fields of microbiology that are heavily based on applications. So I'll start with uh, immunology in this particular video and I'll talk about other applications in my coming videos. Now what is immunology? So immunology is actually the studies uh, that studies the systems of the body of the human body uh, that protects against infection it is known as immunology uh, for example uh, when uh, there is an infection in your body uh, two kinds of the responses they are actually there one is known as the innate responses and the other one they are known as the adaptive responses as you can see over here this innate response is by the macrophages the adaptive responses are by the uh, 
T lymphocytes and the B lymphocytes. Don't worry about them. We will have detailed discussions uh, in the uh, immunology on all of these things. But simply, immunology studies the body defense systems that protects against infection. Now, in immunology, uh, one of the important subfield is known as the serology. And what the serology looks for is the products of the immune reaction in the blood and tissues and aid in the diagnosis of infectious diseases by that mean. For example, serology looks for the number of the uh, white blood cells in your body. That looks for certain uh, immunological markers in your blood, which help you in the uh, process of the diagnosis of infectious diseases. Another important aspect of the immunology is known as the allergy. And the allergy actually studies the uh, hypersensitive responses to ordinary harmless material. What I mean by that is that uh, for some individuals like the pollen, they do not cause any kind of the immune reaction. But in the uh, allergic reactions, some individuals, they do create uh, an immune response against the uh, pollen or against the uh, dust or against certain kind of the medications or against certain kinds of the bee stings or certain uh, poisons, for example. So the uh, study of the, uh, you can say, uh, otherwise uh, harmless materials, the immune reaction that is generated, that are known as the allergic reaction and that we study under the uh, allergy part. So uh, for this particular video, uh, uh, this is enough. In the uh, next video, I'll be focusing on some other uh, important uh, applications of the microbiology. So if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel, uh, share it with your friends, hit the like button and press the notification bell.